Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today we got 17 new and updated mods for Farming Simulator 22 to take a look at. For all platforms, we have 11 new, and for PC and Mac, we have 5 new and 1 update. And I'm so not sorry for painting this case green. I make daily mod review videos every time something drops on the official in-game mod up, regardless of what platform it's for. So get subscribed if you're new so you don't miss any future new or updated mods here on the channel. All that out of the way, let's take a look at today's mod. And let's start with Case H1455. 5XL, one of the most popular tractors of farming simulator history. This is from Universe Simu Modding, and it is going to be a total of eight slots for you guys on consoles. I'm only kind of sorry for painting this John Deere green at the beginning. I knew it would trigger somebody, so that's for you if it did. 145 horsepower on this manual plus power shift transmission. You've also got a 200 liter uh, fuel capacity, 24 miles per hour, 6.6 .6 tons, etc. etc. Will Brands, Trailer Bark, Michelin, Continental Midas, BKT, Rustine, and Nokian tires. And you've got basically anything that you want in there. Flashing lights, yes or no. These are pretty sweet, so if you want strobes, this is how you get it. I actually install those on the base one, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But flashing lights, yes, yeah, they're, they're pretty sweet. Uh, front loader, no. Quickie, we've got the Howard, and we've got the Stole as well, so that's awesome. And then main color, starts as case, but you can literally change this whatever color you want. You can go with the black one, yellow, white, blue, if you really want one. Uh, you can do like I did, paint it John Deere green just to mess with people. You can even have a pink one. The only thing is you can't change up the rim color. That would have been nice to see. Also, this is what I was talking about. Check this out. If we're going in here, we go ahead and turn on, turn on the flashers. Yeah, that's awesome. Also, if you have uh, the beacon and you're on PC and you've got your beacon plugged in, your beacon will flash as well. So that's pretty sweet. Next, we have the Ponge Pack, also from Universe Simu Modding. This one has quite a few pieces of equipment. Basically all trailers, but we got some neat stuff. The first one is the Chrono Feed. This will hold 1,000 liters of any bulk crop. So that's pretty sweet, including stones. So hold stones. But what you do is you fill it up from the top and then you can overlay that here on the side. This is going to be three slots if you're on console. Next is going to be the RQ200. This is actually a Bell Auto Loader. This is mainly used for loading up like one or two IBCs, a couple small bells, stuff like that. But if you include the auto load, it will also load up any bell that you've got in game as far as the normal size. So not the baby square bells, but it'll hold any of the round bells, 125, 150, or 180, and any of the square bells, 180, the 220s, or the 240s. So that's uh, they didn't have to add that, but they did, and that's pretty sweet. Uh, this was going to be two slides for you guys on consoles. Next up, we have the SPX 816. This is also a Bell Auto Loader. We have three auto loader, actually four Bell Auto Loaders that come with this pack. This one's going to be four slots. This is the next to smallest one, I guess. It holds more than one. 24. Trelleborg BKT Midas Fried Stein Tires. Do it up however you like. Auto load, yes or no. And then you've also got the folding mechanism, so you can add whatever you like through there. Do we have a trailer hitch on the back? Yes, we do. So put a couple of these together and you're good to go. The next to largest one right here for another four slots is the RPX 919SI. Same wheel option, so that's nice to see. Auto load, yes or no. And then we have our different folding mechanisms. Trailer hitch. No trailer hitch on that one. And then the largest one at 32 bales, also with four slots. This is the RPX 1226. Configuration, you've got uh, either a black setup or you can go with green, however you like through there. Same wheel, so that's nice. Again, auto load, yes or no. Again, 32 bales on this one. This is the largest auto loader that we've got so far for all platforms. Do we have a trailer hitch? No trailer hitch on the back of this. So is what it is now we also have three more trailers as well the next one is the specs the spex 7519 this is not an auto loader but it is for your vehicles so you can load up like two small tractors or one medium one large something like that set it up good to go that one's going to be four slots for you guys and then lastly we have two different animal trailers the first one is going to be the bhx 902 now we could do a uh separation fence 
kind of thing. So probably an unfold type thing. Set that up if you like it. Uh, this is going to hold seven cows, 16 pigs, 15 sheep, or nine horses. That's right, nine horses. That's pretty darn good. It's gonna do it all at five slots. Then we have the larger version. This is gonna take up seven slots. We do also have that separation fence in there as well. Uh, this is going to hold nine cattle, 22 pigs, 22 sheep, and 12 horses. Yeah, 12 horses. Gotta love it. That is the entire pwned pack from Simu, our universe Simu modding. Next, we've got some forestry equipment for you guys. This is the Sempi Maxi Soil 350 from Black Eyes Official Modding. This is going to be a total of six slots. It's a 300 horsepower requirement, 3.5 meter working width. This is uh, basically stump grinder, stuff like that, as you can see at the top. Forestry mulchers can be used to remove stump or tree stumps and bushes. So that's what this is gonna be used for. It does hook up via three point, so there you go. Also has a working width of three and a half meters. So if you want to do something with a specific size, well, there you go. Next up, we've got a pair of plows for you guys. Now these do say that they're subsoilers online. Do not listen to that. Even in here, it says subsoiler. It ain't a subsoiler, this is a plow. Um, would be nice if we could get on board with that. A couple other mods are like that as well. Subsoiler and a plow in real life may kind of be the same thing. End game, totally different. So uh, there's my rant for the day. First, we have the SR05, 2.3 meter working with 89 horsepower, nine mile per hour, two slot plow. And you can change it up to green, blue, red, or yellow. Then we have a larger version right here. This one's gonna take up three slots. I'm still pretty low, 4.1 meters, 165 horsepower, nine miles per hour. Same color options here as well. They both hook up via three points, so that is all good, and they are pulled, not pushed. Next up, we've got a three meter cultivator. Of course we do. This is the Sam 3 Ilm, 20 horsepower is required, three meters at eight miles per hour, so a very low horsepower requirement. Does anybody even use cultivators? I don't Call me crazy. Uh, this is going to be a total of one slot. Here are your main colors. We'll just change up to a gray on the main color, and we'll go with a green on the design. Just show you guys exactly what you got. Here's a neat one for all platforms. The mower for skid steer loaders from FS Miner. What I did? This red boy right here is going to cost you 3100 bucks. Weighs 400 kilograms, 5 horsepower required. Not bad. 1.9 meter, 9 miles per hour. Around my parts, we call this a bush hog. And I'm real excited to see this. This will hook up to any skid steer loader that you've got, which is great news. And it will drop the grass as well. So that is pretty cool. Plus, here's the neat thing. You can change it whatever color you want. So if you want it to be John Deere, well, go with that. If you want to be Challenger, go with that. Doesn't matter. It's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Next up, we got the K Brand Planter 3R12 Row. This may look familiar to you guys, as this was a DLC item in 17, I believe, and a base game feature in 19. Well, never came as a piece in 22, but Nico Du 25 has brought it to us. This is a 1204 liter capacity, 2.3 ton, 100 horsepower required, 5.4 meter, eight slot having K Brand planter yes it is you can see at the bottom those are everything that will hold everything that it will do so seed and fertilizer uh and all of that that is good so corn sunflowers soy bean soy uh sugar beets and cotton sweet here's one of my favorite mods to say the shovel with a grapple yeah from vertex design 3900 liter capacity of all bulk crop as you can see at the bottom right hand corner of your screen there you go. That is all the stuff it'll hold. Uh, 3,900 liters of it, 604 kilograms by itself, and this hooks up to telehandler. So that is awesome. You can grab a hold of logs with this thing if you really want to. It's kind of a, a, a thing of all trades. The only thing is, you cannot change the color. So you're stuck with the color, and you're stuck with that lizard logo. Next up, we have the Stole Pack. Now, this is going to be every single piece, at least that I could see for front loaders that we had in Farming Simulator 19. So. All of that still stuff is here. We've got multicolor options for all of them. That's great news. Uh, let's start it off. First one is the Universal Bucket. This is going to be 1,000 liter capacity, and it's going to take up a total of one slot. And then we have the Bell Spike. This is also going to be one slot. Again, you've got everything going on through there. Silage Cutter, 1,250 liter capacity. Two slots on this bad boy. Again, all of your colors. Then we have the Bell Handler. This is going to be two slots for you guys on consoles. Very cool there. Log Fork, super helpful right here. 
800 bucks for this one, and it's only gonna be a total of one slot. That's great. Then we have the manure fork, 1,000 liter capacity on this, and it's gonna be one slot as well. Keep in mind, it only does grass, hay, manure, silage, chaff, and straw. That's one thing to know. Also, something that does the same, but holds a little bit more, is the fork with grapple. The information is 1,250 liters right there. That's pretty sweet. Next, we have the pallet fork, 187 kilograms on this one. Again, change it up whatever color you would like. One slot there. And lastly, we have the round bale fork. This is going to be a total of one slot for you guys. Grab them, check them out. These go on any front loader that you've got. I know in uh, in the, the thing, believe that somebody's actually working on front loader stuff right now for uh, Stoll. Let's see, we'll take a look. Yeah, I don't think we have any in game. We do not. So uh, somebody is working on that stuff right now. Next to last new mod for all platforms today is the silage additive drum. This bad boy right here makes it super easy. Uh, plus it holds 60 liters as opposed to, or sorry, <laughs> holds 50 liters as opposed to the 60 in game. So it actually holds less than the pallets that we have in game. Um, and also it's a little bit more difficult to uh, manage. However, you can pick this up with your hands, but you cannot pick up the pallets with your hands. So keep that in mind. Also for 10 liters less, you're saving almost $2,500. So if you're using silage or silage additive, I can be honest with you, there's no better piece than this to get. Get it. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the light poles pack. This has eight different light poles in them. The first one, we're just gonna go from left to right. You've got the tall lamp post at one slot. Then you have the curved light post. That's gonna be one slot as well. Then the double light post, that is going to be one slot as well. Low lamp post, that is going to be one slot. Then the modern lamp post, my favorite out of all of them. It's gonna be one slot. Then we have the antique curved light post, third from the right, that is going to be three slots. Next to last on the right is the old light pole, another one of my favorites in this pack, two slots there. And then lastly, we have the modern curved lamp post on the end on the right, that's gonna be two slots for you guys. If you wanna look for them, simply go into your build mode, go to decoration, go to lights, and they should be the very first ones that say lizard. I've got every single mod installed that's on Mod Hub, so, uh, <laughs> If they're there for me, they should be there for you as well. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players. Let's start with headland management. This is for tractors, field sprayers, mowers, and harvesters. With headland management functions, the vehicles can be combined and activated together at the touch of a button to simplify turning maneuvers when working in your fields. All functions can be activated and deactivated individually for each vehicle via the GUI to achieve ideal adaptation to the work being carried out. The headland management system must be added to the respective vehicle in the shop or in the workshop as a configuration before it can be used. The cost for this is three grand. It's activated and deactivated in the vehicle with shift X. Alternatively, the different buttons for activation and deactivation can be configured. The GUI is called up by default with shift control X. Your next new one for PC and Mac players is the first person horse riding camera. While this was not part of the base game, I don't know why, but it is here from GTX. This global script will add a second option to all horses and rideable animals. Uh, I think the only rideable animals are horses, <laughs> I will say that. When selected, this new camera will provide the rider with a first person view, creating a more realistic feel. When you wanna go jump over some curls, get it, get it, let's go, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Your next new one for PC and Mac players is the Instant Wash. Instantly wash your vehicle and all attached tools with the press of a chosen button. Water splash effect and sounds are included. The default key is insert, which is gonna be above your arrow keys on the right. So let's turn on a little sound. I've got the, the wheels as dirty as I can. I drove around this field like an idiot for like five minutes. It does not get dirty. Uh, here we go. We're going to click the insert key and we're going to listen for a sound effect. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool indeed. Let's see if it'll do it while it's clean. <laughs> what if you just keep hitting it? Yeah. That's an interesting, interesting effect. Nonetheless. 
Oh, that's awesome. Next is probably something that's going to change the game for a lot of players. This is Grow Now from Viper GTS 96. So press the button to advance your growth crop. So five second delay per stage. So when you hit it, just hang out for a second. They do say some crops takes two stages and button presses per state advance. So be ready. So the default key is backspace. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And we're gonna watch and see what happens in front of us. They say the five second delay. Hey, oh, there you go, yeah. So there is one stage right there. We just advanced the stage growth. Let's go ahead and hit that backspace again and let's see what happens. I'm showing you guys this in real time so that you know what's going on. So we've already got, looks like, a couple little areas that are ready to be harvested. Sweet, what happens if we hit that backspace button again? Uh, please. Hey, there you go. So we got some more stuff. I'm gonna hit it one more time. We're gonna keep hitting it until this happens. Um, I'm not sure what'll happen if you spam it though. Let's find out. I just hit it five times. We'll see if it goes through like zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, it doesn't appear that it does. Oh, it does. <laughs> nice. All right, so it looks like it did go through twice, but not any more than that. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit one more time and see if that changes anything in front of us. But I think everything here is ready to go. This is kind of like my crop growth testing plot right there. Uh, and as you can see, some things have been harvested, but everything that was growing is now ready to be harvested. This is... This is a game changer. I'm going with it. Game changer mod, grow now. Rate it five stars, because it's the best. And your last new one for all, or for PC and Mac, sorry. <laughs> this is gonna be the loan limit 10 million. So as you can see, I got a lot of red right here. It's actually my test map. Uh, and you can take out a loan limit up to $10 million. So I could just keep going on and on and on. Unfortunately, I have to do it by 5,000 every time. But if I wanted to go in and take out a loan up to $10 million, well, I could simply do that. It'd be totally fine. There's $1 million. I got all the money. Let's go. And your last mod today, an update to PC and Mac for HUD Toggle, one of my favorite mods. This is changelog 1.2. The help menu text priority has been changed to very low and the input registration is now done properly. So if you enjoy using this one, it's great for taking screenshots. Check it out. Make sure you update. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Also, if you haven't already, check out today's news video. We really didn't have a whole lot going on, but we did have like 59 or a crazy amount of mods and testing. So check it out if you haven't already. All being said, I hope you have an awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later. Peace.